We're uh, we're live right now, by the way. So yeah, Donnie, oh, okay. saying all that racist stuff you were saying. Yeah, oh, okay. I'll I'll try. Uh, I know. I said Donnie. Well, oh, you were saying racist stuff too. <laughs> yeah, it's too. Sure. Don Donnie and Johnny is gonna get. Uh... Okay, so oh, yeah. today you'll be Johnny. <laughs> yeah. Call uh, me uh, call me Ducky Donald. Okay, yeah. What up, guys? Welcome to the podcast, your boy, me, a man, the South Bouse. I'm here with Big Lynch and uh, Donnie, and we got Johnny here today. Hello. Is that What's it? up, everyone? Uh, anyone ever hit you with a, a Johnny Gilbert? Uh, I do that sometimes. I'm like the only one, but I'm glad that you're doing it as well. You know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not alone. If you're up here in Montreal, you'd get hit with that so much. I, I'd be happy with that. That'd be fantastic. I imagine if you rolled with my friends and I growing up, you your name would just be Gilbert. Like all it sounds time. fancy. <laughs> I honestly is, like it sick. more. Yeah. Because like everyone always brings up Gilbert as like the goldfish from the goldfish commercials. His name is like Gilbert. So I'm like, what? it's not what? very cool sounding. Goldfish crackers? Yeah, there's a right. goldfish named Gilbert. The smiling so, one? The one that for some reason had a face smiling yeah. face on the box? The, yeah, that's the one that got to the mask. Yeah, right. I don't know why I have that information right. in my brain. but Because they thought you were Gilbert, but they didn't Dude, know you, they were fucking with a shit that's... bear. Kind of what this yeah. podcast of, is about is factoids like that. But I'm pretty oh, okay, sure it does have a smile on it though, because my my yeah. daughter's eating uh, goldfish like it's like it's yeah. her her main food category at this point, and uh, they do have a little smile. So they, they're taking yeah. You know, one of them, you know, least, one of them the on the box, happy. one of them on the box always had the drawing of a little smile, a smiling yeah, face. No, that's no the but one, he's that's saying the the, he's saying the. The goldfish itself. Goldfish never entered my lexicon. Like, I never f with it as a kid. My parents never bought it. I never bought it. I've eaten them, but like. When I seen them, I got them. I yeah. went in on it, but I never, a, like, was like, I could go for some goldfishes right now. It's, yeah. More of a cheese it guy. It's a lot better. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I'd much rather something like that. That's, that's, yeah. I'd rather like a cheese doodle than a cheese puff also. You Remember know, a lot, a lot of cheese it love out there. I, I, I keep saying this. I'm just not down with cheese its I find it to be uh, <laughs> yeah. really overrated. Oh, cheese its are the cracker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but everyone, rather, around, everyone around me like really f with cheese its right? I'd rather cheese its are really I'd rather cheese its and goldfishes. What do you feel like I, I don't think you've had a goldfish in a long time. Goldfish I, is very... Very well, there's also this different that got ones, me right? high. It was like when I got in LA, it was a THC goldfish. Oh, and, damn. And it was okay. like, eat four, you're really high. Eat eight, mega high. You eat the eat whole box. 12, you're super stoned. And there's a bag of 36. I murked them all. Because <laughs> when I got to 12, <laughs> yeah, got I was scared. stoned and hungry. And I just wanted to keep eating goldfish. Oh, that's dangerous. Yeah, which just made me like, uh, like really scared in the hotel room by myself. You like that? That's like, like one of your hours. favorite things to do. Yeah. Really getting scared in the hotel. I wasn't room. ready yet. This was earlier. I wasn't ready yet. I hadn't well, mastered the arts of getting scared. I was just shook. Was like, <laughs> oh, well, you need that's how you start a career. You need a few of those. Yeah. I'm man, surprised I, that the tangent of Goldfist I, that I started. I'm surprised that, that I started this conversation. Yeah, you can't, oh, can't get us off drugs. Kind of how we roll. Done. Yeah. Um, you know, well, I watched your uh hot topic video recently. Oh um, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, guys, some people are listening. Uh, how old are you, by the way? Uh, I'm 26. Yeah, I'm I'm 38, and um, you look like guys that I went to high school with. Mm -hmm. and that's pretty fascinating. But for those listening, I wanted to uh, uh, you do it better. What would what would you say you look like if if <laughs> if you were uh, someone's like, what do you look like? like I don't a, know. A, a like, singer. Well, you are like uh, you are in a band. Yeah, yeah. You look like yeah. Do some like uh, a tight you look like you look like an emo guy, right? That's yeah, definitely. That's that's, yeah. that's what I've been told. It's crazy though, because I'm blonde naturally, though. So this is what, I like, feel like bullshit. a lot of them were. I've I've been seeing a lot of blondes, the strawberry blondes. They became the yeah. the darkest emo faces out there. Yeah, you know? it's a good canvas for dye. To, if you didn't, have light hair, it'll take emphasis it. on dye. Didn't you used to have like um epic mealtime shirts in Hot Topic? Wasn't that a thing? Yeah, or was that not a thing? I yeah. remember seeing those like back in the day. Like it was like that and like Smosh and yeah, equals I, uh, three and et cetera. So I remember. Well, I, I just want I wanted everyone. I wanted to paint a picture. I feel like when I grew up, I saw like okay, perfect example. You look like to anyone listening, he looks like he's got the sickest MySpace page ever. Yeah, on in two thousand seven, <laughs> and I always that was like always an aesthetic that I was like, damn man, that looks cool as hell, but. I'm. I would never like put it that off. Room. You know, yeah. some things you can, you can do or you can't do. And like you're like the guy, you yeah. look like that guy the most. That guy. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm kind of just keeping it going at this point, just to like see if I can like if I could be like 70 or so with the hair and everything still, you know. So we'll see how long Res I can keep it going. Respect on the crow T-shirt, though. That's, oh yeah, thanks. That's big, yeah. man. Yeah, I got a tattoo of the crow as well, and I got this crow on the hand as well. But yeah, yeah it's one of my favorites. I well, Brandon was a nemesis of uh, Donnie's, so that's why he's really oh, there were nemesis yeah. i always um i always like hit my girlfriend with the it can't rain all the time yeah <laughs> it's like i don't know I, I hit every i yeah i don't know it with, without <laughs> any context no i'll try to hit everyone with that no one ever fucking gets it you got to start growing out the emo hair and saying that that's the vibe <laughs> no we're not allowed to do that oh. <laughs> well, if you ever need someone to help you grow it out believe me you know? at this point uh, you know if what? i For could i would for an emo glow up episode, be sick. Maybe that's something to consider. Uh, you know, I think people always help out. I feel like that was like a, a, a style of content that existed at one time. Or oh, like, for I'm sure. gonna get the yeah, emo makeover. I love that. You know, that was like a I was, very popular. I was a bigger thing. fan of the emo person unmaking over. And going oh, back you to want the other way? I like those, and they because they would get their tattoos like make up over. Also, it was just you like, never you never dabbled skin. in like an emo. We never dabbled in an emo episode. I, I guess we didn't ever. No, we came close, and we went to Juggalos. Uh, we went to Juggalos. Ugh. I know that's like not the same team. Yeah, yeah, it's overshot. Super offensive. <laughs> no, no, but, no, like, no. It's I just love, it was I'm part of a greater convert. Like K-pop was in that conversation too. That's there even was, yeah. further away. Yeah, Jungle I know, but I'm just showing you how big this barrel was, this discussion yeah. of possibilities. Um, but yes, yeah, so I watched your um, Hot Topic uh, video. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Rise and Fall and Rise of Hot Topic. What was Hot Topic's yeah. a big deal to me. Yeah. Now, listen, I'm I'm like I said, I'm uh, like a decade older than you. Mm -hmm. uh, Lynch is probably more of a footlocker kind of guy. Don is like uh, your <laughs> yeah, camping store or something like that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. like I Red, get in Red there, Wings. I, like after I was done Hot Topic, like I like catch me and Spencer gifts. I was just yeah, all exactly about, same. All about sure. the weird shit. Yeah, was, I mean, I'm just super into like uh, action figures and all that stuff and like pop culture. So it's like those stores, like you know, show it off or like Fye as well. That's another one that's like. You know, yeah, I always that, like, wanted that. Shit. I always wanted that, but but stuff always felt really expensive in there. Oh yeah, like the it, stuff, the good stuff in there was like the expensive things, and I just yeah, yeah, uh, the straight up statues and shit that go. For, yeah, like, I felt thousand. like I and I felt like I wasn't getting enough for the money. No, that's fair. Or, like that's Hot Topic would hit you with like two, buy one or buy oh, two, yeah. and get a third free. Like hundred percent, you're buying two. What's your best Hot Topic tea ever purchased? Like one that you wish you still have, you still rock with it. I mean, I just got this one, but, you know, the crow <laughs> one's great. I remember I bought a Smosh shirt when I was, like, younger that was, like, uh, to, like, what the fire truck. I, I always loved that shit, so I don't yeah, know. I, well, so uh, going through the journey of Hot Topic, because when I was watching your video, I, like, went through it. And then something happened to you, which I found mm -hmm. very interesting. I'm going to get to that in a second. Um, but I went to Hot Topic all the time because I would get there and I'd be like, a Beastie Boys shirt? Yeah. Whoa, that's crazy. And on the rarest of occasions, because they were good at rotating their inventory, and I'm talking like, like, like back in the day, you you must have been like eight. But yeah. let me ask you something: <laughs> when you were eight, did you look at emo guys and you were like, "I'm fucking"? That's the type of cool that I I'm think, gonna be. I think I didn't really get into it until I was around like twelve or eleven. That's when I kind of discovered that world. You know, I was more like just growing up with whatever my mom listened to, which was like a lot of like. Kelly Clarkson and shit like that, you know, the country <laughs> kind of side, country pop. So, you had a religious home? I'll, I did a little bit back in the day, but like then we um, luckily all grew out of that. So that was pretty cool, you yeah. know? So Just now we're all family at a time. We're like, we're all done, right? Yeah. Like, a little bit with Christmas still, but like we're mostly done. Right? Oh, yeah. We all, yeah, we all like Christmas, but you know, it's like yeah, after no, the third like victim that. came out, we left the church. <laughs> You know, that's not that's not completely wrong. But yeah, I, well, I, believe I believe it. I believe it. I like that you got a small shirt. That's the, the, the channel you chose to uh, align oh, yeah. yourself with over. Equal yeah, and they, didn't, they didn't get canceled. So good. You know, yeah. <laughs> they're back. Yeah, you know? They're back better. Yeah. Than now. Yeah. But they got secrets. Trust me. I know them. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to reveal them out here? Some some old school YouTube lore. No, they um. I, I just well, remember going to Hot Topic, seeing the shit that I wouldn't see elsewhere, a Beastie Boy shirt, and one time even like mm. a Dragon Ball shirt. And yeah. it's funny because in your video, you make a, a totally valid point because you were like, I yeah. don't want a Naruto shirt. 
And it's funny because I'm like, he's not wrong. They got way too many fucking Naruto shirts at Hot Topic. They got way too many Funko it's Pops like over the years at Hot Topic. But also at the same time, I was happy when I saw a Dragon Ball shirt at Hot Topic because I had never seen a Dragon Ball shirt anywhere in the mall that's like a large. And so when when you said that, I was like, hey, wait, a little bit, though, like anime was a thing at Hot Topic. And then yeah. what's funny is you were talking about the Funko Pops and stuff. And I was like, oh, shit, he's going through like what I went through. <laughs> when I was like 19 and I saw like my Beastie Boys and then Dragon Ball and then it became like uh what's your favorite band? Uh I don't know, like Pank the Disco, I guess. That's good. That, like, like that old stuff. And I, I I couldn't I don't think I could I know songs for sure, but I don't know if I yeah. could name a song off by heart. But when I started seeing that, I was like, no. Yeah, this ain't it. And then we'll it was, go it was it. passed on to you and you had your time with Hot Topic and now you have to let go. Well, not really. I still go into Hot, Hot Topic all the time. Yeah, but like now it's like the next one, which is like, you know, Disney. Is that what you were absolutely. saying? Absolutely. Oh, like yeah. The Disney, Disney stuff as well. Like, yeah. It's so funny because if you went back in time and imagine Disney being there, you'd be like, why? What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. And I, I respect all that stuff being there and stuff. I just think it's like an insane amount of inventory of it but it obviously is probably making the most money for them there and that's like their whole brand is about being the hot topic so if people are buying it that's what's happening so otherwise they wouldn't even have it in the inventory so mm -hmm. i understand and that there's a they do push the baby off. yoda they, yeah the baby yoda's big there oh they yeah push, they push goth stuff still though like if you wanted goth pants with like metal loops yeah. on them and shit yeah. that's where you got to get it right at the mall I mean, it, like, it's the most, you know, uh, well-known store that, I, like, carries stuff like that for sure. It's, like, been, like, it's stayed around and all that. Yeah. So Like, there's no other store in the mall that. No. Would you say I mean, Spencer's is the closest, I would say. Yeah. Are, are you goth adjacent? Would you say, like, at all? Like, you got it. There's got to be some goth clothes that you could also buy or something, right? I mean, I got, like, you know, like, I listen to, like, The Cure and shit. Like, I mean, I, I don't. I have, like, a very broad, like music taste i honestly love like pop music is like a thing i always loved so i'm super into that stuff but is goth like a music thing when i, I yeah that, yeah it's I, funny i, I like i think about it like that yeah what are the divisions here it's kind of like oh, that's uh, crazy bro I, you know what i mean crazy, though bro. goth is like that's how i feel about, about techno though when people talk about like this is techno this is edm this is dance this is, i'm like bro anything with that electronic music is techno to me yeah no techno i mean it's versus like, house anyway sorry so i interrupted different... you no, no, no worries. There's like um so many different little pockets of like music and uh everything that's also like all brought together in like one like thing now. So like you can just call like everything like alternative or emo and people would be like, okay, that kind of fits in there. You know what I mean? Like rock and goth or whatever. It's so broad at this point. So yeah. Yeah. And it, it it's it's everywhere too. It's with like movies, you know, comics, uh, you know, music, of course. Yeah. So it's really just everywhere the whole aesthetic of everything so yeah you ever Remember? like and i'll just say like i was when i said god i feel like ignorantly i was just referring to like no. uh, dancing under an overpass vibes not quite yeah. that deep in there you know yeah exactly <laughs> A yeah cyber goth burning, burning garbage can is that cyber yeah. goth that's called cyber goth yeah the people with like the crazy like I knew it. dreadlocks and they if go I like had three guesses <laughs> yeah if I had that shit's cool <laughs> yeah I, i've never joined in on that but i would love to sometimes if i get drunk enough though and i'm at a party i'll do it like ironically though i'll start like, 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 like that, that like cyber goth dance yeah just as a joke i'll just like do that just yeah. like to make a dork of myself you know yeah, i feel like that, i feel like that could get a party going I, if i was I'd be like whoa look at this guy hey <laughs> hey hey yeah hey. yeah it's 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 pretty silly but not I'm usually not a I just, silly guy though <laughs> exactly that's yeah. you know that's the vibe so <laughs> when did you start when you start making videos i started well i started really young on a different channel when i i don't know maybe like 2012 or 2011 um i was like copying channels like you know like ryan higa and like fred and stuff like back in the day i was trying to be like that and um luckily i deleted that channel but uh with my current channel i started about 10 years ago so i i was probably like 16 or 17 or no, I was younger actually. I was like 15. So it's crazy. Yeah. I started YouTube on your whole life. 
about yeah i mean most of my like you know the the life that i can remember you know obviously yeah, like when you're dumb when you're, as hell bro <laughs> oh i know now you know i mean <laughs> now you know but now, now you i know. got no choice though i dropped out of high school you know i got nothing yeah. to fall back on so i gotta like just keep on riding the wave of uh trying to keep the algorithm happy and not burn out every two bro, seconds look at me, man it's never gonna be happy bro. <laughs> <laughs> no. the algorithm it's tricky, yeah. never gonna be happy <laughs> yeah you just gotta keep on pushing through though i guess and hope yeah, one day I can't, I well, can't. <laughs> if you started that if you started that young you've been through a bunch of iterations of uh yeah how things work on youtube and now the like uh all the other platforms you got to think about now which is absolutely like, it's draining you got to like almost be tapped in on everything and it's like yeah, i'm imagine, tired imagine being us 40. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, none no, of us no. are 40 by the no, way I, 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 I don't know your guys, guys feelings hurt eh? I, I, no, I, I, like that one, eh? I, 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 I'm, I'm pushing through I'm pushing through because I have this this burning question oh. mm. is that is that like Bernie Sanders sitting next to you oh yeah 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 I wrote come on his head oh, yeah, okay there's, there's like Bernie Sanders over there and I wrote happy Donnie <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't know i actually don't know yet i just thought it would I thought it'd be a, i just thought it'd be fun to have you know he yeah he's out guy yeah. likes to party no. yeah there's so many other things going on there you got a garfield you got a couple of yeah like, i got like a masks. really it's from like yeah it's a really shitty like garfield yeah he like I, he looks really stoned oh, dude, yeah. oh yeah it's i've like, seen that you, garfield i've seen that garfield yeah. That's like this, you want it at the carnival, Garfield. I have this Yoda, and I like drew eyeliner on it that and stuff. Is, so that that's what funny. Hot Topic should be selling, though. Not just a Yoda, yeah. like that Yoda. Disney, right? Yeah. You know Disney what I mean? Like, that's, like, they should be on that level. <laughs> How about this? How yeah. about this? The Crota. The Crota. Well, uh, <laughs> I, I'd be in their own store now. <laughs> I'll have to buy another one and paint them like the Crow. I, I that's it. Right. They're getting even more specific because I was in the mall yesterday, on the weekend. And the, mm. I saw this new store pop up. I walk in, it's like this giant ducky thing. And then there's all these sort of like, I don't know how to describe them. It was a well, BTS. Children. Children. You got to tr try. No, no, no. It was like a BTS, like squishy mellow. Like they have these, oh, yeah, yeah. these avatars or these sort of uh, representations of them. And that was the entire store. That's all they sold. And it yeah. just opened up. Just like, them? Oh, my. That's it. No, it's not BTS. They have like, I because I, I walked in, I was like, what the fuck is Like a lot store? of K-pop groups and stuff. It was, what, it was it was bts but they had like uh like animals ascribed to them or like that are tied into their character is what they told it's me a oh, band. Wow. you're talking about the band right talking about bts but it wasn't images BTS, of bts the band right correct yes yeah just because the people listening bro imagine the people listening and you're saying BTS, they're think and they're thinking behind the scenes yeah you know, <laughs> i don't you think that's what, you they don't know that we're talking people? about hold on hold on when you say wasn't bts there... you think the reaction is behind the scenes and not BTS, or the murderer the, like, who's, who's, there who's there was a killer i don't know i guess it's probably like a, a 29 year old dude yeah with a, a fucking nice big dick by the way bro that's <laughs> okay, yeah. um and you think he's Above gonna that. think the korean pop band he's not even though okay, i've gone into i know bts like and i'm a that exact person you're not described. a normie you're like you, your job is epic meal time like but i walked like into the store i walked in the store like a, your job's a fucking no, no, no. Joke, i walked bro. in the store like a normie you're not a, you're not a i'm like what's anymore. all this junk johnny's a normie you know you are but i actually I no, 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 Johnny. No, no, no. Not Johnny, Johnny definitely not a normie. I no. can make a case you're the least normie out of everyone. That's what yeah. I thought. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, honestly, and I don't appreciate how Lynch walks around like normie coded. Oh, you don't like that? That I'm, no. that I'm masquerading as a normie, but I really yeah, like that's up. it. People are like, oh, here's a hardworking dad, and I'm like. <laughs> No, he's yeah, not. I walk out, I'm like, what the fuck's up with all these animals in here? What's going on? Yeah. They're like <laughs> BTS only passing on site. You're not wearing yeah, notes. Yeah, I remember I went to the mall and there's like. I mean, going back to Funko Pops, there's a whole store just dedicated straight to only those. Yeah. Like, it's wild. They're but... getting super specific with it. They're you know why? That and Squishmallows. The Squishmallows are move. big. Yeah. Uh, I knew Funko Pops wasn't a good move because I didn't get them. And I buy lots of action figures and I buy, I have a wall of, of Marvel paintings. Like, that's just like, yeah, I've seen some not, of them in the It was really vlogs. the vibe when I got and there's it. There's a couple behind like, you. the vlogs. Yeah, I would yeah. I would like always watch them just to see the statues and shit. I was so into that. <laughs> yeah, and I fuck. still I still get down like that and I I just uh Hell yeah. I have these on the wall and um that arc the fact the big that arc. I never got up in Funko Pops, that's when I was like, no, nah, it's not the movie. Well, you know, like <laughs> Yeah, go ahead, sorry. Uh, I was going to say, well, I I know you're a nerd because you um Wait, you know you ran 
Well, you were in like you were in Tusk with Kevin Smith, so you must be a nerd. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, that was fucking crazy. He's the he's oh the God. ultimate. He's the ultimate nerd. I'm still waiting on Moose Jaws. See, it's That's funny. Say. Me too, brother. Yeah, we all are, yeah. <laughs> it's funny because um like uh you're at a certain age mm-hmm. and with the not normie job, even though you're about ten years younger, yeah. like you know, it's we probably our interests probably align. 75 percent then there's a 25 percent. i feel like that's a 25 percent that i'm interested in i feel like you do you fuck with pokemon i mean i'm aware of it i i was more of a Yu-Gi-Oh person honestly okay so you know that's <laughs> yeah the you, even further down yeah the even line further for us. that's great yeah. well I, did, I, did, I didn't play it i just thought they looked cool you know what i mean uh but, wait that's big because i thought they looked cool too but i was i was like yeah i just bought i'm not i'm glad i had cool. pog okay pog no but he bought the car hogs Pogs are sick. Oh shit! He took canceled it though because he knows about pogs. Do you have oh yeah, older, you have an older brother or like yeah yeah like yeah. That? We had like the goosebumps pogs and all that shit. How so how sick. old's your how old's your siblings? He's um he's in his thirties. Yeah, and my sister and my brother are both in the thirties. So yeah, okay. you're the youngest. I'm the youngest. Does yeah, the fa- I like family think you're the dumbest because you're the youngest one in the family. No, they think fault? I'm. No, they think I'm the coolest. That's not no, what I asked, though. Okay. <laughs> the dumbest. Well, I would say, I would say yes. The dumbest, I would say probably. Absolutely. Yeah, right. Well, I dropped out of high school. I'd yeah, they don't be. think you're. You're, you're the your reckless sister. one. Yes, I am the reckless one. For no sure. one has hair like yours, like that emo hair in your family. No, not at all. I mean, geez, no, not at all. Just, like, I mean, like they're all blonde. They just look like. My mom is like, yeah, more of a ginger, and my dad was like, he had black hair, but he was like, you know had the bald spot in the middle of the head and all that stuff so you know like you have not, not the email happy there. god didn't hit you with that one eh oh it's coming it's no nah, don't say <laughs> that i'll, I'll be have, rocking it though you, how dare you have a bald Dude. talk amongst oh, the company no, I, like that, that, <laughs> I like the confidence i appreciate that confidence that's it's that's gonna it. happen i just gotta that, accept it with that hairdo though you could totally rock you can get a wig made of that exact hairdo and it would Absolutely. look the same yeah, forever. Then you got to maintain a wig all the time. Yeah. But the wig game is so insane right now. I've been thinking about shaving a bald crown just to step mm. into the wig game. I be can't John, believe what's be going like on. John Travolta and just come out here with the just, no those wigs. those Korean uh, those Chinese TikTok dudes. Oh that yeah, that's right. Yeah, those guys are crazy. Insane. Yeah, yeah. You sent me. They those. like they they have like all these wigs and they shave their head even though they have like a decent hairline and they're like putting wigs on and they're all like these sick ass K-pop haircuts. Every that's single no, time, you know. the way they put it on is really so insane. official. They're so official with the well, way they it. Well, it just looks so too. solid. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, like, the hair tech, new hair tech that just dropped is very. So crazy. you think I should do it? You think I should get a hair piece? I, no, I think you should grow your hair out. It's either that or get like a hair transplant or something. You know, those Bro, are I'm yeah started, dude. We talk about that all the time out here. Yeah, no. <laughs> I've thought I think about, about it. it. Like, you can still get fucked, though, because you could still end up with, like, an island, right? Oh, really? Uh, well, yeah, because the bat. So let's say they come and they put you a hairline. Yeah. They come the- and they put you a hairline. That's, that's, what, okay, that's yeah. what they do. They come and they put it, okay? Yeah, they do it. Yeah, they do it, do it. Yeah. Yeah. The back is still going. Yeah. Oh, hold on. No, they put you on finasteride immediately, and then you. Ah, uh, oh, you so don't want that. Get fucking, that's the worst part. Yeah, that's it. You're gonna get. But that's the cancer. whole. That's part of it. You have to take finasteride. Nah, nah the that's hair the transplant. Part, you fix the hairline, and then you don't lose the rest by taking the uh, medicine. That yeah, yeah. it's okay. Might I'll lose you, my yeah. hair and keep my dick. We're good. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it just sounds so painful to have the hair transplant. Well, when they therapy. cut the strip out, it's it's the grossest fucking thing ever. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look comfortable. A lot of people go to Turkey. To get yeah. it cheaper. Well, that's, that's, those yeah. are the best videos. I love seeing those videos online. They're like, yeah. just got a, coming home from Turkey, and every guy's got bandages on their head and their new hairline just poking out. You know, it takes like oh. months to heal as well. Yeah, it's, like, it's uh, fucking brutal. So, well, hold on. Do you know? Do you know that? Do you have like a nice shaped head? Like, do you? You might already know that you're good to go. Like, have you shaved your head? Yeah, I, I shaved. Is that shit mad flat in the back or something weird that's gonna fuck you up? You like a yeah. four step maybe? I think well, it's okay. Like saw. I, it's been a long time, but I I know um I know I got a pretty large forehead though. That's why I got the emo banes because like no, you're, you're, thing, don't same, talk to us about that, large that's forehead. Four right of them. I I'm covering. I'm making moves on a forehead right now. You don't even know what's going. My shit goes yeah. back to my headphones over here. Trust yeah, me. Sure, sure. Oh, damn. Hey, show me your side profile. Is, you're just yeah. you're used to what you got going on. True. Like, right now, which is zero zero forehead, forehead game at all. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for the confidence <laughs> now. You know, maybe I'll start rocking the forehead. Who's that maybe guy that back. came? That guy that came with Raditz. Raditz? Napa. 
Na- no. Okay, then I'm fucking about? up. Anyways, it was a little Dragon Ball side <laughs> oh. side vein. Carry on. Where were we? Oh, yeah. Only Four one heads. Dragon Ball per episode. You know the rules. You're right. You're right. Okay. Now we can't do like, like next three episodes episode. of Dragon Ball. Only jo- three. Jo- Johnny, I got a question. Uh, yeah. What's your favorite fast food restaurant? Ooh. All right. Damn. Um. It depends. If I want to feel like shit afterwards, it'd have to be like maybe Wingstop. Maybe. Wingstop. We just, we're yeah. just getting that in Canada now. That's, That's like a, wild, bro. Is that not flavors? No, yeah. Stop. No, no. Wingstop um, is big. That's a big call. Bro, it's, what just like, you it's just a crazy thing to it's, say. It's you're heavy, though. And you drop Wingstop. You like well, a like, lemon, like a lemon it's, almost, it's not that matter. It's just like almost cheating a little bit. I don't think is so. It che- That's, it's, it's not. not it's not. It just feels like. I respect like a funny it. First one. I don't think Wingstop on here. I would have like who says Wingstop? A this lot of people. A lot this of people. guy obviously take a good I think, look. I think, I think their lemon pepper wings are very popular. Like, people really, Wingstop's great. Really fuck with them. It's not. Yeah. Uh, it's just a little heavy though. Like I always feel awful afterwards. So what's well, any? Um, that means so. you're doing it right. So what's, yeah, the, what's your second favorite then? If you don't want to feel second. like shit. My se- oh, I feel like they'd all make me feel like. Yeah, shit. I can't That's imagine a good one that I get this one when I feel good. Yeah, That's Subway funny. doesn't honestly make me feel bad. It's pretty good. Um, no, but it can get you in a bad, different way. Like you could be like smelling the way Subway smells yeah. later yeah. on your clothes, and like that'll oh, make wow. you feel sick. I think Subway's making a big comeback because we we've been shitting all over Subway for like the last fucking six months, dude. It's, <laughs> and, it's and pre-cooked, microwaved fucking. No, it's meats. making a That's comeback with with pe- like people. Like we've been shitting all over. Like oh, I drive past Subway, I would never get Subway. Like we we've been saying this for months. I've been thinking that for years. Am I insane? And then I, my, my nephew rolls up with a subway. I'm like, oh, it smells pretty Hold good, on. actually. Am I'm, I, I'm, I'm, about to get a, I'm about to get a foot long here. I don't know. Am I insane or or did did I dream? Did Arby's buy Subway? Yes, they did. <laughs> they oh, man. Did. What, like, I don't, or, when did Arby's, like, like the whole time, remember when everyone was like, Subway is the biggest fucking thing in the yeah. world. It's bigger than McDonald's. And the whole time of all people lurking in the shadows is fucking Arby's. Well, I think I think Arby's is owned by like a company that owns a bunch of different like yeah. fast food places as well, yeah. though. So, but they're all owned like by that. John Arby. <laughs> I guess all John Arby. <laughs> well, do you fuck with Ar- Ar- do you fuck with Arby's? Like, have you had Arby's yeah. before? Yeah, for sure. I don't hate Arby's at all. Like, it's a guilty pleasure for sure. Okay. Like. I think yeah, like no. the mozzarella sticks are good as fuck. Oh. The milk. It's hard. Go. It's hard to fuck we've that been, up. We've though. been we've been gaslit our lives that Arby's was very bad. Basically, I think it's the not Simpsons, bad. No, no, the Simpsons Fine. gaslit me into thinking Arby's was terrible, and I and I went with that my entire life. Yeah. Uh, and then I wow. tried a a two hour old beef and cheddar, and oh, I'm great. skilled <laughs> enough in the arts of being a fatso that I I ate that beef and cheddar, and I was like, I can understand how this is very good two hours ago. <laughs> yeah, uh, and the sauce was a bigger deal than I thought. We also the did the meat, as I suspected, looked disgusting. Looked like someone chewed up bubble gum. And okay, but like, like, how does the McDonald's meat look? Like that looks terrible. Also, you were looking. I get mad burger? whenever anyone opens their burger to look. I at don't it. look. Oh, yeah, no, you're no, not, you look. can't. No, no. no, you don't look. <laughs> you, you, you don't look. look. Never look. looks good. Which Are you kidding? You me? Look at it. You I don't eat food, and you still eat it. You don't look at it when you purchase. Open a McDonald's no. burger. What are you looking for? I'm looking to see that it was assembled correctly. To it's my not. Yeah. It's literally not. Why I want to know. Point yourself. I want to. I just want to. It's not. I just want to make sure they didn't throw anything that I didn't want on. Thank you. I mean, what? Thank you. What's poison though? What would you? What was would be in there that you'd be like? Oh, loogie. I sent you a video of like these. You know how many times I've opened up a McChicken and it looked like a loogie cummed McChicken? That's because you're you're fucking up. You have to order the McChicken with no no mayo, no McChicken sauce, and get the McChicken sauce on the side so you can inspect the burger before you eat it. I I love it. I love you. Apply it. I love the move, and if I had all the time That's in the chest, world, not checkers. if I had all the time in the world, you do, I, yeah. I, I no, I wouldn't be there. Like I'm usually at this place because it's three a.m. and I'm I'm doing a drive by, and I'm That's grabbing right. what I'm you're eating lying, and I'm man. eating it on lying. my lap. Full face line. On this McDonald's whole does not come to my house. It's never McDonald's has not been inside my I've house. I've seen it. We made it a two hundred burger. We made a two hundred okay, burger yeah, burrito different. in the middle of the day. We've done it a million times. That's extremely different. McDonald's doesn't really. come here. What do you mean? I'll tell you this. <laughs> once work, once person. the, the personally, one- I'm only a McDonald's late night through the drive through. And when I'm doing that, I love the idea, but I'm not like ripping open but- a mayo and doing that. I'm definitely not inspecting the burgers. <laughs> OK, None but it. yeah, you're go- it's because you were sleeping during the like at the time in the earlier in the day. That's why like you weren't up. So, of course, you're in your burgers later at night. 
No, it's the only thing that's, available that's here. That's not the argument here. The argument is opening the burger. Forget about when he sleeps. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, sure. Uh, and also, it's not, we don't get, you just only get McDonald's here late night. Mm. Like that's I'll the tell you this, available. though. The, the once in a blue moon that McDonald's does come home, it's nice having infinite ketchup. Oh. It's yeah, nice not having to battle cold. the fucking... I don't like that the ketchup's cold. It makes the fry very cold. The fry stands no chance. Yeah. Fry gets nuked. It's like <laughs> instantly, instantly cold. Well, it looks like we're 50 50 uh, on. I bet you the whole audience is 50 50 on whether they inspect a burger or not. I feel like it's more common. Than I doubt think. that. 50 I mean, I do I do it with my burritos as well. That's, like, yeah, that's even harder to do. Unwrap a burrito? That's even harder. Yeah. What do you do? Every you time. What burrito, what burrito, like, a, like Chipotle? Yeah, Chipotle, Taco Bell. You but know, aren't you? Like, but Chipotle, Ch Taco Bell, I get it because it's in that caulking gun. They fucking blast. yeah, it's super <laughs> yeah. blast of dog yeah. food. Love Taco oh, yeah. Bell. Um, yeah, it's great. Also, Taco Bell huge vegan points. All mm -hmm. their items have black bean versions. Love that. And you know what? It's the same shit. Loki. Yeah. Sometimes the black bean is better than the beef there. Like the black I... beans, good. So think about just to the to the people out there. Even if you're not vegan, yeah, be healthy. Yeah, Taco Bell. I'm not a vegan, and I would totally <laughs> go black bean every time. This was time. nothing to do with health at all. <laughs> the yeah. black beans, just like it was a really sneaky. But people one ordering black the black bean are thinking to themselves, "Oh, I'm being healthy right now." No, or they're vegan. Maybe they're like, maybe they're like, it's yeah. disgusting. Or, or like, wait, animals. are like the other type of beans not vegan or something? No, like, it's just yeah. no. Well, no that, that's what they carry. They carry black beans. He's saying black oh, beans instead of meat. Okay. Yeah, instead, instead of, of meat. meat. Yeah, not instead of. Oh, oh I see. Vegan. Okay. I mean, like kidney beans. It is hard. Uh, I don't think a kidney beans vegan. I, I actually, every vegan I know is always claiming to me this vegan restaurant is the best they've ever, best restaurant they've ever been to. Every time they take me to this fucking restaurant, any restaurant, any Ooh, vegan restaurant. restaurant. Think about it, when we lived in Toronto. Like we have a friend of ours that's vegan, and I tell her every single time she's like, "Oh, this is the best restaurant." My wife's like, "Oh, this is the best restaurant. So good." I go there. I'm like, "Yeah, it's fine. It's good." It's expensive and it's always expensive. Yeah, always I'm like, it's expensive. I'm like, it's, you know, it's, good. it's like good for good, a yeah. vegan restaurant. They're like, no, it's, I'm like, no, no, no. You take me to a place right now that has meat on the menu or cheese or something else added into the mix of whatever we're eating right okay. now. Okay. That's why I'm guaranteed vegan, better than what Vegan restaurant places. sucks. Vegetarian restaurants better. That's different. You have more options. Yeah. Than vegetarian. Exactly. I'm saying well, vegan specifically because I'm always. The people in my life are touting the whole vegan, like vegan restaurants. Like, oh, it's amazing. Yeah, you gotta no, go vegan, there. You wait, love it. Wait, the two things. Uh, one, I think what's what's rough about the vegan restaurants that like you would want to go to is they could be expensive, and that's taking away from you eating at one of your ex favorite expensive meat restaurants. You wouldn't switch it's out a very cheaper, nice though. steak for it. But I remember when I was it's not cheaper, Donnie. It's, no, it's not cheaper. I can it's tell always it's, it's actually literally more always expensive. If you go to like uh, like that higher tier of restaurant, if you're like a snobby guy that likes a good dinner like Lynch, then like that vegan restaurant's gonna be gonna be low key nauseating. Yeah, but I I gotta say, one of my favorite restaurants in Montreal is vegan, and it's called Chu Chai. And not only that. My favorite dish there is one of those mock meat dishes, which are not when I'm eating. I, I, I was like stealth vegan for a couple months and mm. I never spoke about it because we were doing epic meal time at the same time. Now but he's stealth something else. Yeah, what he stealth. Oh, so anyways, the uh, <laughs> the vegan um, I knock. Oh, I better not. I, I knocked the escape key off my keyboard, but I don't want to press it in. I feel like it'll escape the computer. <laughs> oh, geez. Uh, but yeah, that it's it's a mock meat dish. Because normally when it's vegan, I want to, like, what do you got out there? And when they're like, it's beef, but not beef. It's like, no, you got to do better than that, buddy. You know, I, I'm not looking for the fake meats. But this place, their fake duck meat is so mm. good. It's it's 10 on 10. I love it. And I love that restaurant. It's 100% vegan. Fake and duck. When you're when you're eating vegan, you, you kind of look at the menu differently because, like, <laughs> Soup's a lot more of a banger when you're vegan. <laughs> yeah. When you're you vegan, appreciate restaurant. soups more and how how the flavoring of soups can be different. You I mean, like, the only thing they really do wrong is like cheese is just awful at vegan oh places. They yeah, never the do well. Cheese, cashew the only cheese. cheese is, well, the only cheese I've had some good. Instead. I've had some good cashew mm. cheeses, and yeah, I would definitely rather a cashew for sure. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I'd rather a cashew than cheese. Sometimes, straight up for cheese. Sure. Cashews for sure. are yeah. big. Uh, like in my in my food currency yeah. in my brain, like cashews uh carry a lot of weight. High value item. Big time. Yeah. 
Yeah. Who's your favorite but, I mean, nut, Johnny? My favorite nut? Um, <laughs> probably my uncle's. No, I'm just <laughs> oh, the, your I priest. didn't say that. Yeah, my priest. Yeah, let's go back to church. <laughs> yeah. What about your rabbi, though? Oh, my rabbi? I don't have Wait, no, no. Rabbi. I was just giving that to Donnie. Oh, okay. He's get sucked off by his rabbi. Long story. No, he was a moil <laughs> first of all. He was a moil. Oh, no, he got God. all of us. <laughs> oh God. You know what a moil is, Johnny? No. It's uh, it's like a rabbi when uh, you're, the the baby's getting circumcised. Oh, fun. Uh, he like he like, I don't know what he does. He definitely didn't do it to me, bro. That's for sure. Uh, what's he do, guys? <laughs> so listen to this. Listen to this. Tell, In the... tell them what they do. In what the we very do. Tell in what the, happened to us in the very <laughs> orthodox Judaism, which is all of us. We're the most. No, I'm joking. We're not. He's joking uh, in the very because wait till you hear this in the very orthodox Judaism. The rabbi, the moil will like cut the foreskin about, you know, 80 percent of the way and then take bite the rest off with his teeth. Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. My doctor did that. <laughs> I didn't and, know. Uh, I didn't know it was like that. Actually, I thought he. And you could Google I he, this. I thought he kissed it. I Wait, thought he only kissed it. No, only if you tip. But um, hold you on, could he bites this. it off. This is actually new to me, Johnny. Dude, Brown. in <laughs> vampire. No, in, Bro <laughs> in Brooklyn, I think in the eight. Oh uh, no, not even in the eighties. It was. It was like whatever mid two thousands. There was a fucking moil that spread herpes to a bunch of babies. Oh, I think I remember doing this. That. Yeah, 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 that. yeah. All right. It so. was, no, no, of course, course I heard that story. No, no, it was me. No, no, <laughs> I'm nauseating right now. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot. That's yeah. my favorite. I've been, I was already traumatized like the, all those years ago. I don't even think I need to relive it now. It's over. Yeah, I, I still remember it happening to me for sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I don't know. <laughs> where do you go? Where do we go? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, we got any hot food, food takes or uh, no? Yeah. Um, yeah. Just to answer my favorite fast food place that's not Wayne's stuff. Yeah. That was, I got uh, some fire, though. No, we can't be yeah. a, a moil if you're vegan. Oh, Anyways. <laughs> so, oh, fuck. Let's. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, la that was the last one. No worries. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't honestly know. It's hard to think with fast food. I mean, they're all kind What's of. What's your favorite hamburger? I'm not a hamburger guy. You like Ever. hot dogs? I mean, they're <laughs> fine. I'm more of like, I'm more of like a chicken sandwich guy. I'm all about chicken. Oh, you ever get that Wendy's chicken. spicy chicken? I honestly haven't been to Wendy's in so long, but I used to go to the Wendy's that had the uh, finger incident. Like that was the Wendy's oh, I would go oh, to. I remember that. Okay, was, that was, was that a, was that a real one? Or a fake one? No, it was like a incident where somebody like, uh, somebody at their work like had a cut off finger and they planted it into the chili at Wendy's and it became a whole scandal. And, um, Jesus. Yeah, and then they, the yeah, they found out about it's that happening all yeah. the time he says i'm yeah. gonna send you guys something right now on the uh i bet you yeah well. no but that wendy's ended up uh i remembered hearing the story and then hearing how they had planted it yeah the, the finger itself and because i was very choked wendy's chili was a big deal to me when mm. that came out when that first yeah. came out so when i found out that it was planted i was like of course why would i not back dave thomas in this scenario yeah, yeah. I sent you guys a link. Can you open that? Tell me if you think this is all this is real. The watch is your own risk thing. Yeah, I just oh, I, yes. no, I just dropped it? in the group chat. It's just like it literally looked like a perfect rat silhouette fried, and they're like it's a rat. They they fried a rat, and and then they show a couple other ones, but they literally look like a perfect rat toy was fried. For what, what place fried a rat? Supposedly they showed a couple of them there. Looks like everywhere, oh, anywhere in New York, probably. I would guess. Oh, uh, yeah, that. No, I don't. Think, I don't think there. I don't think the rat was fried. There's a lot of steps for the rat to get fried and then to get to like your your box. I don't think there's that many steps. They I don't think so either. Fall in, dude. <laughs> what when I would mean fall in and and then get served onto into your chicken. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, do you think for these sure. fucking people are? Checking? Do you know how? Like, bro, a rat is bigger than a nine okay. piece of nuggets. Yeah, but okay. a mouse isn't. Yeah. This is not a mouse. This is a little no, bit. And dude, you plus when that. you honestly, I, when you fry a rat, it contracts. No wonder you don't check that's, your burgers. You're like, you really science. got a lot of confidence in the fast but food honestly, industry. That, You're that, like, oh, these guys are making my burger. They're checking everything. There's just, not, we're looking at the hamburgers. Rat, there's like, not a rat. Like if you play the game, you yeah. all ate piss, shit, and cum eating everywhere. That was don't just that. breakfast that's today. Always, but that's just that. always. That's the life. That's how it is. That's not how it is. See, when I was at Burning Man. 
Right. I lay in, in in the dust and I let it consume me, and I knew that there was no point in fighting it. So you got I, I, you got cum in your mouth. I, I promise. <laughs> you. <laughs> That's you. you this, at Burning Man, you got yeah. shit. You got cum in your mouth. What's the situation with Burning Man? Because I, I I know vaguely about what She's happened this year. Dumb as hell. <laughs> well that that sounds that sounds about right but was it as uh, serious a problem as the the mainstream media was it just it? rained yeah. it literally really? it literally rained people were going to be there until monday i was going to be there till monday it rained mm -hmm. on saturday and the but was there an exodus that people started leaving like in camp i'm saying the news was freaking out everyone online was like talking yeah about yeah you see yeah people, in camp, people, when you were there did yeah, you feel that energy people, or was that not the energy people. there You'd okay. see people driving down the street in an RV trying to leave. And it's like, dude, why are you driving through the mud? Which, by the way, when we did leave a day and a half later, mm -hmm. we saw all these busted RVs in the mud, all these cars busted in the mud because they wanted to escape. But it's not mud. It's clay. Yeah. It's a weird it's a weird thing. It, it, it's not heavy. Mud. As yeah, I did get lost in like RV yeah. TikTok where people were mad because they rented but their RVs. RVs. And they're like, RVs. oh, I rented my RV and they lied to me about going to Burning Man because the sand is so um I don't know. It, it sticks to everything essentially. Like get yeah, it it fucked up it. the whole you RV. You can't get rid of it. But it, 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 forever it's there. The R V is like, why are you rushing to leave? You have a home here. <laughs> Wait yeah, a day and a out. half. Why are you going to drive through the mud to go where? You have a spot to park it. Like, what's going on? It was just really weird because people left early instead of mm -hmm. waiting for it to just end. So the last the last night and the last day were, like, the best part. And people, sometimes it could take 18 hours to leave, 15 hours, 12 hours to leave. It took us three hours to leave because all the people that come in just for the weekend for Burning Man couldn't come in. It had been raining. And I think there was lower numbers than normal, apparently, according to other people. And so many people panicked and left over the like the other day and a half, sitting in lines that were ten hours, eleven hours. And I just and sat you were there, just you were just on drugs. fucking acid. Yeah, I was gonna say you're just nothing in my own belly button. I need <laughs> ramen soup. I mean, that's the whole vibe of Burning Man, right? It's just to take some acid or something, right? That's like No. Are you fucking crazy? You think it's all about drugs, bro? There's so no, much that's exactly what it is. No, no, no. That's exactly what it is. What do you mean? <laughs> Truthfully, I, I, I would say, and I took, uh, like, everything I say, by the way, is an interactive art experience, and none of this is true, but I took a right. lot of drugs every single day when I was there, and I 100 million percent would be very happy going and experiencing it sober. There's no part of it that needs drugs, but, I mean, once I pulled up with it, eh, eh, yeah. I better swallow all these pills. Uh, that's fair. But, yeah, it was very fair. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes I mean, it was unfair. How fucked up I was. <laughs> but, no, it was. Uh, it, it it's cool. there's there's like people that go there and go, they go to these sound camps where they play music twenty four seven. Those people go pop pills and just dance nonstop overnight. It's you could be there mm -hmm. as long as you want. Then there's hippies that have been there for twenty years, twenty five years, going to Burning Man since the very beginning, uh, and. Uh, then there's people that are like performers, theater kids. Uh, there, I went to a StarCraft tournament in the middle of the day that was put on Whoa. by a camp that does like RPG stuff. Uh, role, and random. like these people like aren't doing drugs. These are nerdy dudes that are into LARPing and uh, role playing games. And they set up a StarCraft tournament. They had chairs, foldable chairs set up in the desert. I sat down with like 50 people and there was an announcer and the dudes who were playing the game were sitting in this other tent adjacent to the big one that all the audience were sitting in. So random. Uh, there's one one camp that I went by. It was uh, it's a dining like a, a diner and mm -hmm. uh, like a 1950s diner. And they give you a menu and you sit down in full booths like they brought the shit out into the desert. And you could order anything on the menu and they just always bring you a grilled cheese. But when you're in the middle of the desert and you've been on your bike and, you know, maybe getting really fucked up like me and you're heading back home around dinner time and you stop by the diner because it's open and they're doing this charade for two hours and you could sit down and eat, sit and eat as many grilled cheese as you want and not yeah. pay anything because everyone's doing so, this gifting thing. So I want to ask you because the, the discourse about Bernie Man Online is quite... Uh probably different than what you experienced i feel like people are having a good time just dunking all over people who attend burning man at least in my algorithm that was like showing up everywhere 
why are they water on myself? Why are they wrong? You know, like the whole. What do you mean? Why are they wrong? They're not wrong. I said the news was wrong with the mud. The people that are dunking sure, on mud. people okay, at yeah, Burning yeah. Man, yeah, hundred percent. Right. There's two types of people at Burning Man: people that are Burning Man people, mm-hmm. and then another half that are Burning Man people that dunk on Burning Man people. Oh, but, really? But yeah, if you go and I see some, I some some of the funniest Burning Man videos I've seen online, like memes murking people at Burning Man that I'm laughing at. I see like a, an offended, butt hurt burner dude in the comments and i'm like how do you not find this funny how are you offended by what what is being said do you know how much money you spend to go to the fucking desert to cosplay being poor and you can't see humor in this even if you had a spiritual fucking transcendent anything no matter what like my ego died fifteen thousand times in a sandstorm i i know (laughs) that that's funny any epiphany that i had that i had is funny that it could be laughed at. And and so those people are wrong. The people that make fun of Burning Man, like, yeah, you for sure, very easy to make fun of. Also, it was the best thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> but oh, but like when I was there, I was looking at the people and I'm looking at the mud and I'm looking at the fucking naked dude walking down like, and I'm like, this is the best week of my life? <laughs> yeah. With you and him, this <laughs> is the best week of my life. You could have just hit the showers or something instead, no? What hit the showers? If you're just you said the best night of your life, you saw a guy walk around with his, his dong out, and then you saw someone. No, no, that the whole point is like that's not good. <laughs> like that's a bad thing. That yeah, he's saying like that's a life. bad oh. thing, and yeah. how could that be the best? Yeah, yeah, like this, like these people, this scenario, like my, like I'm covered in this, and this is the best. This is the best week of my life. You, you yeah. did touch on something that it seemed like there are some of the like people who are more slummed in there, it seemed, in some of the videos that I saw. Because at first, ever since you started talking about Burning Man, my whole life has been infected. Like, my algorithm has been infected by Burning Man content. No, it's because Google owns, like, controlling share of Burning Man. So, because, like, Google since 2019, Because 90% owns. of the attendees are all employees. employees. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, they own the. Uh, but some people are some people are sort of slum. It seems like like they're more pushing like burning regu- man regular they, tents, like looking more normal than other people who are living in these sort of decked out. So RVs. Google's trying to promote Burning Man, but like, why would be, they be sharing like the negativity of it then? I no, guess. I think just like it was a wave. I every year I see a lot. I'll get a whole bunch of content, but heading mm-hmm. into Burning Man this year, even though I was getting prepared for it, I just saw it more around it seems like it was like uh, i watched the show how to with john wilson they had like a little burning man moment joke in it i felt like it's it just started appearing but then again i went this year so you know sometimes like you may yeah, be you're biased you, yeah exactly you get like a poodle right. and you're like everyone has a poodle and it's like no yeah, you, you start noticing things that you didn't notice before like you may not have picked up on it but now that you're hyper focused mm-hmm. on what you're up to but i like, thought oh. i thought there was a lot of burning man talk even before and then once the it rained, it literally just rained, and there was like all the sepsis and Ebola stuff. Um, uh, none of that was true. Literally, is people doing the same shit that I described to you, except now you're not taking your bicycle out. Mm. But you had yeah. to, you you like would bicycle everywhere with like it's like rainy day pro stuff. rainy day programming basically is what happened. You're just sitting yeah. there. And I like electronic music and all that stuff. I was there for 12 days. And on the ninth day of going to sleep and waking up to <laughs> on the ninth day, Damn. I woke up and I was that, like, that was, that didn't was, realize it's that long. Yeah. I woke up on the ninth day and I was like, shut the fuck up. Dude, that's I what want, they did at Guantanamo want, Bay to dude, people. I would have I would have I would have paid yeah. money, even though nothing cost money. I would have paid money for you to pull up. With a guitar, any one of those bad boys behind you, and and jam, because I would have loved to just hear a voice and an instrument played by a That's person. Just not that, yeah. It was, and I love that shit. But it was nine days straight. I was like, please. Well, there's no diversity in music there. It's just li- like EDM. Very little, very little diversity. In so it's music. like a rave, but you gotta much know longer. like camps. Like there are some camps that will play like just '80s music, but it's, it's like- a little area. And it's not one of the big sound camps. The sound camps are just all. That DJs. sounds like one of the biggest negatives that you've mentioned so far out of everything. Yeah. Like, I, I, I don't want to listen to the same music for. You know how much I like straight. going to like festivals and concerts and shit? <clears throat> yeah. You don't really do that at Burning Man. And and I went there being like, I'm going to go to the music and I'm going to fucking just jam out and, and trip. And there's so mm-hmm. many DJs that were there that I wanted to see. Mm-hmm. 
I get there and you pull up after hitting five tabs of acid and two CB and you're there on your bicycle covered in LED lights and you're in front of the stage and the guy's DJing music and you're like, I can see this asshole in Vegas next weekend. I can see all these people and they'll come to my city. And you look to the left and there's a wide open desert with tons of art far, far miles away. And you just see lights everywhere because everyone's biking. And you're like, I'm going to do that instead. And then ride off into the darkness of the desert with a couple of your buddies. Maybe they're on one wheels. I was my buddy, Mike D. He's like there on his one wheel and his brother. And we're just into the night like tripping and laughing about nonsense and you still hear the music over there but to go and be there no that's that's like that's just it became too regular at that point still i just hate being stuck i just hate being stuck in like uh the loud like music area where you can't even communicate it just gets like a little too much you know what i mean where you can't even like hear each other your camp wouldn't be wouldn't be there so it's a huge it's a huge it's literally a city uh, yeah, and and y- you wouldn't be next to the sound camp as close as you could be to the sound camp. Ear earplugs will help you out. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah but uh, I was gonna but, say yeah. noise canceling headphones. But a lot of people do that. A lot of people bring that. It's necessary. I didn't. I didn't. I well, if you're like coming down off this uh, interactive experience you're talking about, uh, yeah, the last thing you want to hear when they come down is like, yeah, definitely your fucking head. Um, probably makes it a lot more trippy. Context is important though. That sucks because you're like, fuck, I have like a dinner tonight and it's 7 a.m. and I got to get to bed, turn the music down. But instead, this is like, I have nothing to do and nowhere to be. Mm-hmm. I could right. sleep in here and I can get out. And when the sun's out, I could sleep in the shade. I can eat a snack. I can go to the gym there. I could just walk down the street. One time I was feeling like that. I walked down the street. The guy with the megaphone was like, yo, you want to bully salad? And like tabbouleh salad hit hard. I don't get that when I when I when I go out to eat Lebanese food here or anything like that. But in the desert, a fresh yeah. tabbouleh salad is fucking crazy. A snow. The time I had a snow cone, and this is all funny because like this is a joke. Everything I'm saying is literally a joke. It's pathetic because <laughs> it's not a vacation. It's a weird like, fucking. One time experience. I had a snow cone. Like cool, well, you're in it. You're in it. It, co- it cost you fifteen thousand dollars, but, but yeah, you, you had a snow those cone. Times when you were a child, a fucking no. young idiot, and maybe something something simple was such a big deal. You mm. you bought it. You got a a new toy was given, and it requires batteries. You opened it up, and it comes with batteries. Yeah, but something like that's just so fire. It was a big deal. You had those moments because it sucks out there. You go out there, you move. Moving sucks. Imagine packing a whole life, putting it into a truck that you, you know, you coordinate the driving the truck, they're taking it all out, setting it up. And like, this is how you live and you're, you're all, everything that you had and you were used to is just stripped away. And then you have that, what's it called? Do you know who you're talking to? What's it called? The, (laughs) the, the hierarchy of needs. Uh, Oh, the, uh, yeah. Maslow. uh, (laughs) So you set up your, your shelter and water and food. And, and then everything else is extra. Yeah, everything else is extra. I was, yeah. yeah then like, you need love. Academy the whole time. <laughs> and then at a certain point, because you, you're not used, you don't have that level of quality anymore, getting a, a snow cone or w- driving by a, a camp once and a guy had cheeseburgers. He was like, yo, come grab cheeseburgers. And you're like, how, how did you know I was on acid? <laughs> how did you know? <laughs> He's like, well, oh, relax, dude. Like, oh, I thought I was a burning man. Are you going to give me a cheeseburger? Oh, that's like your dick. And then you fight him. You fight him in the Thunderdome. No, there is actually a place called the Thunderdome. People hit Do people other. fight there? Yeah, they're in like a little... They actually they actually, Swing. they don't play dance music there. And these people are allowed to not have uh, LEDs on. This camp, it's just been a, a camp that's been there for a long time, apparently. You have to have LEDs on at night on yourself so that you don't get run over by a bike or anything. Mm-hmm. And this camp, those people like don't have to, and they're all, uh, they're all, they look like they all love the crow. To be honest with you, <laughs> that's they all, they all, they yeah, all love Waterworld. Oh uh, yeah, Waterworld, that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah, Waterworld was the love best that. ride at the Universal show for so long. I love that. Yeah, one. That I, I kind of don't mind the movie. I was watching it the other day. Do you get to? Uh, do you get to like drink your piss on the ride? 
They throw no, it's, it's like face. a it's, it's like a, a show. show. Yeah. Like yeah. the Batman it's... one. Remember that Universal show? They used to do those. No, no, <laughs> no, I guess not your own, that one. no, I remember Waterworld, though. Yeah, I was, like... was going to ask you about uh, uh, Johnny, what um, what your like your your feed looks like. You know, like my feed. Like, do you consume content? Most you said YouTube? feet. Take yeah, your well, shoes off. <laughs> not for free. Hey, not for free. That make put that one yeah, on Patreon over here. Like, what? Um, what, what are you? What are you? Uh, what do you? What do you consume? Or do you just focus on I, content and that's it? No. Yeah. Not talk. At all. Let me cut to the point for Lynch. Talk foozy to us. <laughs> no, no. I did. I did, I did I, see I you talking you about some stuff. I saw talking about some stuff that I'm interested. I did in. see like, foozy yeah. right before everything went down. That was very random. But um, well, go hold on. Hold on. What? What? What do you mean? Then, then you You're say talking Fousey? to OG Fuzzy yeah. stands right now. Yeah, man. hold on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. No, I mean, where'd I mean, you yeah, see him? Just out in LA, just like that. Yeah, he was at a friend's show, and then like two days later or something, all that like controversy came out about him with the the airport, and then just you know kept on going. So he so. was at the show, but li- he was in his live streaming mode. He was Fuzzy. He was upgraded yeah. Fuzzy right now. Like he had. I think he might have been like. I think he might have lost like uh like he said the like a slur or something on live stream so he was like not streaming that day or so okay he, like, yeah yeah, yeah. He, he did yeah, oh, yeah. he wrapped oh, it wrapped it you got i can't believe this g7 on a not streaming oh, day no this he was apologizing too must have been we asked been live hold, on, hold, on, hold on he was apologizing okay. live to your face you no so apologizing so a friend and i were he like apologize to you for saying the n-word the whitest person we've ever had <laughs> no he just up, i think he said i think he said the f slur too so he oh, like apologized for that too. he was just like i'm gonna i know i've been fucking up but i'm gonna do better da, da, da. and it was um oh it was right after the air, airport incident that he had yeah, happen that everyone was you know talking about um he apologized to you yeah yeah you got a, we didn't you even got bring a it up. 1v1 apology yeah we didn't even bring it up we were just like oh can we get a photo because we thought it'd be like kind of funny just to be like oh this is like and then you, you know, got G7. like a lot then you G7, got a, a yeah, cameo a cameo yeah. from fuzi i know he would list that as like yeah. eight thousand and then like a day so later i made a, a live performance him, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah hey he knows did the you, did you consume fuzi back in the day or i'm like, aware of all like the og youtube like yeah. stuff so I, I was i was super invested i like watched all the youtuber movies all that crap so um oh you saw harley, you saw harley as a mailman in the smosh movie Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. No, I know. Yeah. I, remember, I, I checked I remember. out the IMDb. I know it all. Yeah, okay. but um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know. But, uh, do you know Meal about Times, muffins? Uh, the what's it called? The meat, the product you had, the pizza, like meat thing. Oh, uh, uh, meat, meat, uh, pizza in a bag. Yeah. I know. I wanted it so bad. I could never find it. Oh, you should. Fucking sad times. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, uh, I'll tell you a secret. There's a product called Pizzaiolo, and it's in a mm-hmm. triangle bag. It's a jerky. You could probably find it in Vegas or Nevada, maybe in LA, but it's called Pizzaiolo, and that's literally pizza in a bag. That yeah, but it's not. It, I, but it is literally the exact product. You would have to re- pretend, rebrand it. But it's it's actually the product. Yeah, it hits different. Is it? Yeah, it's it definitely it, I'll, different. I'll it yeah, yeah. Let's like, try and steal it. Yeah, I'll try not to give it the money that I get. Don't give it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They so you're, so you're, invested, you a bag. you're invested in like the era of the, I guess you're saying Smosh yeah. and Epic Meal Time and yeah, I mean, as, three as, equal three is a crazy one. Someone says I'm like, oh my god, big, bro. The big yeah, I mean, like, like Shay Carl, that stuff, oh, like uh, Dave Days, Dave yeah. Days, yeah. Wow. all the all the Phil, sell, uh, sexy Phil when he was like you know doing his like yeah, I have thumbnails yeah, with like shit. asses and tits. So yeah, have, yeah, you, yeah, have yeah, you met all these people now that you like you moved out late um age and started making content like yeah happen yeah. to all these people yeah to an extent yeah a pretty good amount of them yeah and it's uh it's cool i mean you have crazy I, friends I just, you have youtuber friends i do but it's like i don't know like I, I my my favorite thing is mainly just playing video games on discord with my friends you know what i mean and being inside my my room you know so it's like what video I, like i'll playing? i've been playing um the new texas chainsaw massacre game uh what else i've been playing dead island again which is kind of cool you know just left for dead 2 i still play um yeah. Fortnite, all that kind of crap you know so you like you like, always, the, you like the zombie games right now i do i guess it's the perfect time you don't fuck um, with space uh no i haven't played um what is it starfield i haven't played that if that's what you're referring so to you don't fuck with space yeah uh, not too much i guess not what Grand about uh, what do you like uh, you like a sword in your game or you like a gun in your game uh usually guns i guess yeah you ever shot a gun only like way when I was like young, I shot like a shotgun. I was scared it was going to like say, fly back baby. to be the face. Yeah, I love guns. Say. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
yeah, I mean, it's, I, yeah. I'm not, I'm not super obsessed with them in real life. It's like, it's whatever, but getting super yeah. obsessed with anything is kind of weird, right? Yeah. Everything in moderation, <laughs> I guess, yeah. maybe except freedom. Well, I guess uh, so. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. can't say that. You can't say well, yeah. that mustache. <laughs> well, it's true. It's hitting, it's hitting differently. Yeah. But when it comes to like YouTube stuff in my feed, I, I see everything for the most part, like, you know, serious stuff or anything that's like currently happening. I'm pretty tapped in, I would say. No, I just, is that I'm the more of a Darko rabbit on your hand. Yeah, Frank. Yeah, there you go. That's yeah, one of my I'm favorites. like Donnie. Stop looking at his, at his room and his body. No, but that's a good call. Right, yeah, Donnie, Donnie Darko is a is a top ten. Is a is a. I'm taking a top twenty five for me probably. Yeah, yeah top yeah. twenty five, top thirty, <laughs> top three hundred <laughs> movies I've seen. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's a red flag movie. You know, that's why I got tattooed on my body. But is it a red flag movie? Why is it a red flag movie? I don't know. I feel like it makes you think about life. You know, the same way like the Joker does and stuff like that, or. Or, you know, um, what is it, American Psycho and all that stuff? You know, well, what I mean? like, this like, is like what I was trying to talk about earlier, like our, our, our difference in ages here. I feel like this is a good one. Guys, what's 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 our movie that I I feel like I know what he's describing here. What's something that I don't outrage. get it? What do you mean, red flag? Okay, no, just so like, like movie that would make you think, like, or I like, know, dude, like, I don't know, Requiem, Requiem, for uh, so a that dream? popped in my head too. The pop yeah, the girl sees you, she'll be like worried about like getting to know you because you like that movie. Oh, okay, so that's what I mean. That's yeah, like if, okay. if you're oh. obsessed with the Joker, they'll be like, "Oh my God, you like have like issues and you like killing and all that." Stuff. Right, yeah. right. What right. is that yeah. for us? I mean, the Crow. <laughs> no, yeah. no, 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 not the Crow. <laughs> like which, the... which one that would be like? I feel like he's listed a bunch of movies that would be movies. Uh, yeah, but I, no, no, no. But I it means think like, of an like older toxic. One. I never, yeah, I never yeah, thought like, of that before. Where it'd be like, oh, this guy Vendetta. Vendetta. See, because the, works. the toxic stuff was was kind of chill back back then. We'd be like, "Yo, three hundred, which is about so about three hundred men." Yeah, who we were killed. allowed. We were allowed and that we there were, were no red flag. Bro, movies. people cheered. People cheered white men in the theater in three hundred. Yeah, no, that, right. didn't happen. that didn't happen. I feel like the um and the movies have, to have like a they have to have like a psychological like kind of vibe to it though, like an emotional like deranged like, like, fe- I'm like the fear, part. Psycho. fear fear is the biggest yeah, american psycho movie. is like the biggest one like american psycho maybe fight club possibly I fight club hi- yeah yeah that's a good one but these I went, were all like cool these hit differently back then they're dope they're still yeah, hold yeah. up but yeah, yeah they're like all of those edgy movies v- yeah, if, that, if, went, if a girl went to guys seen a fight club poster up it'd be yeah with I the probably, soap, I probably it's always the soap club. bar, you know, the oh. pink. I think, I think Scarface picture. might be a bigger red flag than. Uh, yeah, that's I've never seen one. that one, but I that's a good one. Yeah. If oh, you have you're to... so lucky. I've been. I was that for a long time, literally till early twenties. Well, so, and then you, you have a hard time watching it? movies I, from I the seventies. Like, is that? Like, no, no, it's not no. even. It's not okay. even. I just. I didn't want it. I was good. Life was good without it. No, no, you need it. I saw. I've never seen Godfather. It's required. No, no, but Scarface before that. Scarface. I just say Scarface. It's it's a good one if you're ever thinking about what you sh- should watch. If you're lost, you got a good one. Yeah, you got really. a really good one. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's great. It's so even Damn. even if it's Young not Pacino? good, like how it was good then, it's going to be mm. so fascinating and entertaining on so many levels. Even from the sound, no, it holds up. You it got holds a, up. You got a good yeah, it one. does hold up. You got a good one. Take it in. You should yeah, I'll check that out. Coke when you watch it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Role play with it. Yeah, yeah. the world is mine. Tattoo now. <laughs> Yeah, that's the next talk of that too. Oh, the, world, the world is mine. Yeah, I yeah, went, that's what I need. You saw I went hiking. Uh, sorry, I went hiking with Harley once, and we stayed in this cabin, and there was this caretaker there. It was like this this cute girl, and we were talking to her, and then she was like, "Oh, what do you guys do?" And Harley was saying what he does, and mm-hmm. made a whole thing, and she looked at his social media, and she looks at me, and she was like, "What's your Instagram?" And I was like, "Oh, I don't have Instagram. I don't have the only social media I have is Reddit." And she was like, that's a red flag. Yes. Yeah. yeah. If like, your only like social media red is Reddit. Flag. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. that means anyway. you know how to make accounts and you chose to not make the others, but you'll spend time here <laughs> yeah. as a moderator. Reddit, Reddit yeah. and Discord can be seen as that, I would say. I like yeah. Discord, but. Yeah, so. me too. And Reddit. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Reddit's cool, too. I mean, yeah. Discord's like too. It's chaos. I'm too boomer for Discord. I mean, I use it to talk to people, but like. I don't yeah. really get servers. I can't fucking nah. navigate that. That's too much for me. It's Ooh, like yeah. you get in a, a Discord server of something you're interested in. I'm like, what am I supposed to do here? There's nothing to do on them, to be quite honest. Yeah, it's, it's just like yeah, I took to YouTube. rambling. You, so ever, uh, you ever read There's books, Johnny? 
uh no i would look at the covers and that's it you know what i mean like goosebumps and shit i'd just be like oh that looks cool i honestly back in the day that's it that's that's the most consuming i like to do looking at images because before the internet we didn't really have pictures so if you saw Mm. a card like a a a, a superhero card trading card it was so cool to yeah. stare. That's why Blockbuster was the best. That's why oh, it was Blockbuster. Because going to see the actual cover of the movie, I made many decisions. Now I don't really think then. about it. But back then, if you showed me, if I walked in Blockbuster, I'd look around. I'm like, oh, this this cover is interesting. Not just that, but it was that. like you, you would see, you know, like now you got to like cross reference fucking reviews and a million other pieces of information that are coming your way. I just I got to like move out of my life completely and just watch. I just feel like back then you were able to see things like Spider-Man or Batman, Superman so easily, but you wouldn't really catch a glimpse of like Silver Surfer, you know? So if you saw like a poster or a comic of shit mm. like that, you know, it would hit different when you couldn't Google. With that said, I'd still, I still, I do, when I was a kid, I probably would have loved this world of infinite options for all well, the yeah. movies and all the content. Of uh, course. Exists, yep. You know? Yeah, yeah. No, I don't necessarily long for every aspect of it like... Uh, yeah you know i mean physical media is just so sick like like back in the day seeing all that like just going to blockbuster or like hollywood video and just seeing all the just being able to look at like the games or the movies i mean especially back then when like you know ps2 and xbox and all that stuff or even nintendo 64 and shit the games and like the selection was just so broad and going home with a a manual that was like 40 oh my god yeah i love manuals so much too and, some and strategy, strategy guides, strategy guides, too. Strategy guides and cheat, still, cheat code I, books. I, I almost want the Armored Core Six strategy guide. It was on sale. I saw. I was like, Do I want to get a big tip book? For I've a, been buying some of those like strategy guides again for like Prima, game, games and Prima shit. Guides. Yeah, Dude, I, I just felt for, like, like a fucking it. aristocrat when I would get a strategy guide back then. Yeah, you're like, like, oh what? I got the legendary edition, and I had twenty one dollars left to get the book. <laughs> exactly. Think, yeah, exactly. You think you want to catch me online, boy? Like, dude, I know, I know, like the fucking ingredients to make plasma grenades. Yeah, this no. guy. I went to the orgy dome at Burning Man. <laughs> yeah, and and yeah, what, is- <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> I think he froze on us. He's still he's no, still he's still thinking no, no, about no, the he, smell. He, he definitely he's went still in there thinking about. The I don't want to say I don't want to say the noises in the orgy dome were haunting because it didn't scare me. <laughs> okay. But when I left, the noises didn't stop happening in my head, and I wanted to stop. <laughs> yeah. I feel yeah. like we just saw like some PTSD right there. Just <laughs> Did you lock eyes with someone up. while you were in there? <laughs> no, it's dark. It's scary. Jeez. It's it's dark. Also, oh, it's dark. I had, like I well, I took like mad acid and stuff and stuff. Did you take in a lot of vinegar strokes while like, you were there? Listen, what happened was it's like dark enough, like you could see everyone, but if you looked at someone's face, like their eyes are just like there's nothing there there's no details in people's faces holy it's shit just, it's dark everywhere there's no bright lights no one's rocking like these lights anywhere mm-hmm. and you've been wasted everyone's wasted and drunk and that's why uh one night was a sunrise dj set and when the sun came up the amount of information i was getting on everyone's <laughs> faces i was like i must look terrible right now <laughs> just with how yeah. much information i was getting on everyone else's faces i was like i can't believe we're all standing here in the middle of the desert like this whole thing isn't fucking stupid there must be some insane if there's, if there's any pictures of you it's like after a long night of uh partying it's like you see a picture like i look like a mirror I, that's what i looked yeah. like that's what i looked I look like, like last night i thought i was having a good time and i, I guess i was but i looked yeah, but i like was like eating like i was eating like uh mres like like i would mm. eat like a like a protein shake and then an mre bro i'll terrible. tell you yeah the food, the camping food tech that has Big. dropped yeah. is insane. Drop. And I like, know, and I know Donnie goes on his camping shit. I know he's, he, he rolls out with guys that know how to do the cooking. So they do some big meals and that's obviously always going to be the best, but this mm. boil water and add it to a bag. And now it's a lasagna is fucking crazy. It's never yeah. been. I got Chana Masala. I, Chili is a good I had one. Creme too. brulee uh, beef stroganoff was my number one beef stew mac and cheese it they were all fire they were so fucking mres good. are pretty good they were next I, level yeah and that, I, and, and I do eat I those ate. i ate that and i'd eat like a like a like an insure shake did we ever order. make an mre epic meal 
We Quick tried. Video. I tried. Uh, I Quick reviewed video. a bunch of them because that was a big content like vertical too. Is like eating. Yeah, we, I tried a bunch of oh, yeah. years ago or whatever. Oh, people were always doing that. You well, know, a lot a of views cool of that actually. There's a channel I watch where uh, different countries' militaries come with like their sickest MREs and swap mm -hmm. them and like eat them together. Sounds like some BuzzFeed ass shit. <laughs> yeah, it sounds it's, like a it, does sound like a BuzzFeed. It's content. fucking. It's wholesome as fuck. You're into it. Yeah. Huh? It's like it's like Finland and Italy, you know. And then the like Finnish guy gives him like, oh yeah, this is pizza, and he's like, this isn't fucking pizza. Ah, uh, because he's Italian. Yeah, that's BuzzFeed content. No, he's <laughs> Italian. Yeah, bro. I I I consume some boomer content. Okay, I watch. Hey, fucking, I I watch I watch a lot of police badge cam fucking. Oh, videos. I do too. Yeah. Yeah. No, I that's like root for the bad guy because the bad guy. What? You, that's <laughs> like the stuff I watch on like Twitch when I'm like streaming or something. It's like, you know, yeah. random like like the Jubilee videos and all that oh, shit. Yeah. And that's so oh, And then like, like the police yeah. stuff. I, yeah. I, like I started watching abandoned building tours, like where people go and. Find oh, those are oh, sick. Yeah. Cool. Well, I, I got into that. A like, bit. I got that with malls. I really. Would you ever it, do yeah. that? Would you go into an abandoned mall? Cause I was thinking about. I was like, would I go into an abandoned mall? It seems super fucking creepy. But I guess it's just. I would go with a skateboard. It, no, it has to be. I need to know what like the like the ceiling looks like and stuff. I need to know how condemned it is. <laughs> yeah. I, I would love to, a to do it. One. I don't want to go into like a condemned, damaged one. Where there's like glass falling. What's that guy going to like light? mansions? Like mansion from the 80s and hasn't changed. And like the husband killed his wife or something. And you go in there and it's like all. I don't I can't tell if they're fake or real. Still have I assume they're the like. Door. Yeah, they have like everything's probably like, played oh, up a little bit. It's got to be right. They got to be. Yeah, just a little bit. Up. Like, but I mean, I'm sure it's like mostly like, you know, a legitimate like, you know, place. And so it's just weird that people would abandon mansions, which so it does much, happen. It happens. They do, right? yeah. Like you. You. I don't know, get fucked up, you go broke or something like yeah. that. And yeah, I went to, I was on tour once and I saw this one building that we went into and it was just like falling apart and there was just like items in there and shit. Like it was just completely abandoned. It's from years ago. And it was like, I was like, this is real. It looked like something from The Last of Us Weird. or something. Yeah. It makes it me want to get my life in order because cool. I'm like, what if I just, like, I see, you see like exist. kids drawings. <laughs> you're like, yeah, exactly. Like creepy fuck. But it is yeah, a sign to get your life up, in order because, like, if, if, if things don't go well for you and you cease to exist, then I would, I would love to go do like shit. <laughs> fuck it. I would love to go get into existential. Abandoned buildings, oh, buildings would be fun to go into besides, like, you know, the possibility of getting arrested for doing it and stuff. You oh, know, abandoned like, buildings. Yeah, that's the yeah. only reason why I wouldn't want to do it. It's just to get, I just don't want to get arrested. But yeah. I love you know. going into old shitty malls mm -hmm. that maybe haven't had a redesign since early 2000s. Mm. Yeah. Um, like the type of thing, you know, what really, I, I, but going back to actually your Hot Topic video that you had uploaded mm -hmm. was you showed a Hot Topic from 1989. And I never, ever yeah. thought about wanting to see like what Hot Topic's logo was or anything in 1989. So different. And yeah. Hot Topic should literally sell the Hot Topic logo from that yeah. 1989. That's more in yeah. line with with what would be cool in many ways. Nowadays, I yeah. I wonder what's in that. What do you think would be in a Hot Topic in 1989? I'd said to Donnie, probably a Fido Dido t-shirt, which was, he was, this, Fido Dido he was is. a 7-Up oh, mascot. Really? He was like a I doodle. He was a doodle of a 7-Up mascot. It was a, a oh, cool okay. dude with like... Honestly, he honestly, honestly, almost had like. Uh, you think they were moving merch? Like, nowadays, they they move sort of like brand merch from yeah. restaurants. You think they were doing that in '89? I feel no, like that's was probably that's more like an like, advanced technique that now it's yeah, it was they're probably like it down David Bowie, David Bowie, yeah, like green T-shirts. Yeah, I see Fido Dido. Wow, he is. Uh, You've ever he's seen got that no before? details? Yeah, he no, I've never like, seen this uh, guy. Well, wait, wait, hold on. Was Fido Dido Seven Up? Wasn't the red dot Seven Up and Fido Dido was Sprite? It looks like he's seven up. Okay, seven I'm up, yeah. Yeah. I remember when the red dot was a thing? The red, they it, like they yeah. made the red dot into a character. Yeah, it also. became a person. Yeah. yeah, it's crazy how popular these characters were because some of them had like movies and video games as well. Like <laughs> yeah, the yeah. Chester the Cheeto had his own game and all so, that. Uh, so did the dot, I think, actually. And I think so did Fido Dido. Dude, remember yeah. when Burger King made those those oh, yeah. King games? Yeah, yeah all there's like King three of them game. or so. Yeah. I think yeah. the, all those places are gonna come back, like the old school retro vibe. Because now I walked in, probably I was, I was at the mall. I walked in like the Gap to go get some clothes for my kid, and I was like, this, this Gap looks the exact same as it did in 1999. Like the clothes they're selling looks very similar to what I would have seen as a you what? Know, what are you looking at? I went to like the Gap or a store like that where they're doing like fast fashion stuff, where they're sort of 
in tune with whatever is popular now. And I was shocked to feel, it felt like I was walking into the same store that I walked into in the late nineties in terms of the clothes they were selling. They're selling like, mm. it's all the baggy pants are back and the like little yeah. carpenter type style pants and like the gap logo, like in the middle like that. I was like, this feels weird. feels like yeah. I'm walking back. Yeah. Cause in, that's what that's, uh, yeah. It's it, back it, now. It's yeah, all back now. It is. Yeah. I think they saw how the grimace shake did and they're like, damn, got to get on that. <laughs> I mean that this, popped off. Yeah. yeah. So. This hot topic, hot topic in the eighties is so weird because is that like when it was like gothic looking? No, like it's when it had, it's it's, or, it's uh like a, are you talking a about when it variation of the clip that you showed. It's the yellow logo one, the line through it. it yeah, looks like a Taco Bell cup almost. Yeah, I was gonna say day. it has Taco Bell vibes, and it's just yeah, no, so that... funny because that was what was cool then. That was the thing, but it still said that it sold goth based stuff. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've, I mainly remember it for like the the vampire looking stores, you know, when it was like, oh, I'm scared to go in there. Yeah, so. <laughs> they did have some menacing entrances at some hot topics. Oh yeah. Yeah, and that shit was cool, but and then you were like, "Wait a second, it's yeah. all anime in here." Yeah, it's, it's all Disney. Space. Yeah, <laughs> it's just another Disney store. That's all it is. There used to be, uh, I don't know, because we have so many kind of knockoff things here in terms of stores. Like we didn't have a Spencer's Gifts here mm-hmm. or a Hot Topic. Not not in Montreal, anyways. No, yeah, we didn't get that. We we had uh, we had always had Canadian versions of things, but yeah, sometimes so, that were cooler though. So I there was like a Spencer's Gifts kind of store in this mall here, and I actually have this like me, my father, and my cousin when we were young. I must have been ten years old. He's maybe twelve, or maybe I'm eight. He's ten, and we mm-hmm. go outside one of these stores, and there's like this crazy fucking like werewolf thing. And we're like, whoa, and we're pulling on the like rubber glove, like the hands and the whole thing. And then he goes, rah. And my 10 year old cousin just punches him square in the face. Was there like, a person? It was a person in a suit oh, that was shit. doing the old freeze jump scare thing. Mm-hmm. And my co- like my cousin did just the guy like get knocked, knocked out or did he not knocked punch? out? Cause we, he was still, he ate, he was not happy. Why didn't you film it and put it on off. TikTok? There was no, I mean, you would have needed. We got a million views. If you had Dick Dog, yeah, dude, you would have needed like a thirty-inch shoulder mount. (laughs) Thirty-inch shoulder. Um. Yeah. No, he took his mask off, and he was pretty fucking. He went mask off off on that little ten-year-old. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, My dad. My dad had to calm him down. Yeah, he had to calm the grown adult. What's funny is my dad was like my cousin's karate sensei, so. He taught him to fucking punch people that jump at you. So this like your guy's dad, like, could your dad knock you out right now? Can he knock me out? Like, like, like if, karate kick if, you in the face and be like, oh, you're oh, done. like if he hits me, I'm done. But like, that's tough for you. That's can I? Beat. Can I like grab him and overpower him at this point in our life cycles? Probably. Really, a grab? What you would choose? Well, his dad knows karate. Um, yeah, my my for sure. And I wouldn't want to go ranged attack against my dad. But he a grab, he knows he piece you up. He, eh? doesn't, he, he doesn't have any judo. He, down there. senior would fucking piece you up, guaranteed. He's got all the timing and the distance and everything down in a way that I don't. I would definitely Johnny, try to like. Johnny, he, he he want to dad? I would double. No, I mean my. I'm not not trying to be a sad boy, but my dad's like he's kind of like a Thanos. He's dead, <laughs> so so uh, I'd probably win. <laughs> okay, sorry. Uh, that's why know, that's man. why I got the hair. No, I'm just kidding. I, control, I think control, he'd probably so. win that because no, he'd fucking. Don't talk about his father now. You don't. Even I, he, well, no, you can make fun of him. He, yeah, he came in. I'm not trying to make fun of him. I'm trying Let to go. Maybe make like. No, I can't hear. Make I can't it a hear, good one, though. No, no, I can't hear stuff like that anymore. Now that I have a kid, it like makes me sad. To think about yeah, why bro, bro, you'd be the dead dad he's sad because he's you want, a dead dad yeah, you can't be you want to be sad <laughs> yeah no, I'm just kidding. stolen sadness come on lynch oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look but yes I, w- I would win oh. i would win uh. but yeah what's yeah. um but yeah what would know. you like what would you use how would you never mind. <laughs> <laughs> silver bullet i was trying to imagine silver a bullet. Bullet. yeah you, you were playing Baldur's gate no, I haven't played that at all. I've a, seen a lot of people. You have a play PlayStation? That. Uh I mean I have like the older PlayStation. Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm mainly a PC gamer now. Oh, I was gonna say I was gonna say I was gonna be like, PC you have a Master Switch? Race. You have a Switch yeah. and a computer. 
No, I have like I was more of an Xbox guy for like. Oh yeah, you don't have a Switch before you the even, PC. You didn't even play Pokemon. Why would you buy a Switch? So no, you never played. I'm not, I'm not really into. I did like I did on the Wii and like the GameCube and stuff and like that. You didn't really like it that much, eh? No, I've never been like that into the Nintendo world. To be honest, it's like never been like my calling. I'm, I've always been into like the violent games. And, Halo, like, Halo, or uh, Call of Duty. Uh, that's tough. Like, I guess Halo, maybe. Nice. I that's guess. the right answer. Like, yeah, that is the right answer. I feel not like nowadays, easier, I'd say nowadays Halo. it might not be the right answer. No, but I'm I'm talking about. I don't like, even know. He's, yeah, that's it. He's Halo or Call of Duty when you were eight. To be, <laughs> yeah. to be honest, the only Call of Duties I'm playing now in Halos are like literally the older ones. Like, I'll still play Modern Warfare Two and Black Ops Zombies. And that's stuff. I would like sooner right be answer. able to convince Donnie and Lynch to play the older Halos than the newer Halos. I'm sure. Are you? Do you play like Warzone and stuff? Like I haven't. I dabble. I like to dabble in that, but I I truly like to play every game. Mm. So when games come out, even if I'm having a great time with Warzone, I yeah. will play something else. But not particularly Warzone. Call of Duty in general. I got tired of battle royales a bit. Uh, I get that. And then I played Fortnite years after yeah. everyone was playing Fortnite, and I liked it then. Very very good optimized balanced game, for the most yeah, part. Especially yeah, especially without the build mode, I I enjoyed that. I, I saw I saw a, a, like a TikTok about that. And I was confused. I never played Fortnite, and it was like Ninja mm. getting all pissed off. He's like, "I'm not gonna play build mode." Yeah, he, he called it something else. He had like a word for something. I was like, "What the fuck's he talking about?" He's like, I, I'm yeah, not playing he's, he's like, "I don't care how many times you ask me. I'm never gonna do that. That's it. I'm yeah, not he, doing that." And I was like, "He was super known for that because that was the only mode." And then he like, I guess just people got so cracked on it. It's just oh, like, he was like. Not even fun anymore. And I don't understand. What do you mean? They just like build and build and build. He was like, he was like, he was like, I'm not going to play build mode. Like, I can't play build mode with a fucking 48 ping. And I'm not going to go and move to where the base headquarters of Epic is so that my ping can be zero so that I can compete. That's not doing it. So what the, what? so is that true? I heard that. I heard that. It was, it was instantly everything I needed to know. And also enough for me to not give a shit. He said it all. And I was like, I took my takeaway was like, ah, so that's how he feels. He mentioned the servers. He, he mentioned the servers. And I'm like, that's a strange thing to be mentioning. I was like, People are so like, uh, yeah, they're so about it. I mean, I don't know. It's crazy to see all the battle royals take over, too, because I remember like first like playing like PUBG, like when it came out and stuff. And yeah, I, I, I feel like honestly, the start of battle royals was like Minecraft with like their Hunger Games mode. Yeah, that it's was like because first, like I, I said that, too. It's like. There's people that played games uh, that when I was growing up that were playing Halo, maybe your age, mm. playing Halo growing up. And uh, maybe your older brothers played Halo. And then yeah, there yeah. are kids who were a bit younger than you who were playing Minecraft growing up. And you yeah. dabbled in Minecraft and they dabbled a oh, little yeah. bit in Halo. But then when you get to Fortnite where it's like Minecraft and Halo vibes a little bit, I could see how two generations before mine really adopted to Fortnite so well. I ended up getting to Fortnite when they added uh, Master Chief and I was like, all oh, yeah. right. And that's when I put <laughs> it up. And th- I found it sick. very fun and funny doing all the dances and all the things. I've, I've never played a game that like just like what they were about with that, it was it was great. I think it was good. Yeah, they really let you be silly in that game for sure. Johnny, what <laughs> yeah. uh, you got? Uh, where should people check you out? What's your plug? You just I don't have anything to plug, but if you want to check me out, just Johnny Gilbert. Figure it out. I don't know. Type in emo guy, you'll find it. And uh, emo guy, we got the yeah. emo guy. Type in baby Absolutely. Crota. Yeah, no, baby I, Crota. I, baby I, Crota. I, I, one, one, <laughs> one question before before I dip. Yeah, yeah. What's your? Do you have like a next? I, I saw like you talk about some current stuff in your videos mm. do you have a topic that's coming up next that you've been researching? I'm, I'm just staying yeah i mean i'm just staying on top of like really just like whatever is kind of trending at this moment and stuff so like the passengers of Israel, eight or whatever, eight passengers oh. yeah 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 that stuff no um i just did a video on like the ashton kutcher shit with mila kunis and all that oh, so oh. kind of just like she yeah, was bro, so was cringe bad. the way she was reading her like yeah, yeah. reading but, like a yeah, high school oh, oral dude it's a tough video. She's, yeah she's, she's married to her first kiss which was a guy that was uh legal yeah person. that was yeah, like 19 or so yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So. well i also have to say it's very weird for the i mean i know she like lied about her age to get on that show but like the directors also allowed that too which is and well, it's, it's also so. crazy yeah but um no, just like, I mean, literally any drama kind of shit that's going on, I'm kind of staying about and just like doing regular YouTube kind of content as well. So, you oh, know, yeah, whatever. Nice. And music crap. So, yeah, awesome. that's it. My man, thanks well, for yeah. coming on, dude. And uh, yeah, thanks for having me. Hell yeah.
I and appreciate it a lot. Uh, go check out his stuff. Uh, leave a comment, a review, something cool if you want. And uh, yeah, cool. thanks, guys. Okay, everyone. Bye. Thank you, guys. All right. Do I just head out? <laughs> out.